Let's give it the beans. TG Motor Rider on my GSX 1000. It's dumping, thunderstorms are just blowing through, but on the road six, the rear tire is reinforced, the front tire is not on the sidewall. On the road six GT, they reinforce the front and the rear tire. I made the riding in the rain videos, you've seen them. I remember when riding in the rain, you know, you keep the bike a little more upright when you're going into the corners, try to avoid tar snakes. The Road 6 tires, so I've been stuck in the rain several times on this bike with these Road 6 tires. The reason I put the Road 6 GT tires on is because the dual compound is, is very, very sticky. It's a very sticky compound. I'm going to take this on the highway and uh, I'll show you how they behave. If you are a fan of my channel, you know I ride every day. Rain or shine, I ride in the wet all the time. And I knew I'd be riding this bike a lot because, you know, this sort of replaced my V-Strom, which got totaled. I got hit from behind on the highway. So I got this GSX-1000. Um, so far, it's been a really good daily rider. Uh, it's got ABS, it's got three traction controls and all that. All right, we're gonna go on the highway now. Uh, if you look at the tread pattern, the tread pattern just reeks of it moves water. Michelin 2CT tires are generally pretty good. I've got the 2CT pilots on my Ninja ZX-14. Um, I've got the Michelin Commander 3s on my Thunderbird. Michelin seems to have dialed in the 2CT sticky compound pretty well. I'm sort of a fan of Michelin. I have had Shinko 777s, I've had four sets of those. That's a sticky compound too, but it's a bias ply tire, so they're a little cheaper. Um, this is a radial tire, so it's got steel belted radial, kind of makes things a little, little stronger, more puncture resistant and all that. Uh, this bike's not super heavy, this bike's only 475 pounds. So I like to pretty much do the speed limit in the rain, I kind of chill out. I'm not one of these guys that likes to pop wheelies in the rain and barrel down the highway. I'm a daily rider, I like to I like to keep it safe. Um, but these tires are really, really grippy. Really grippy overall. You can, I mean, they're moving the water. Um, I got stuck in a super downpour. This bike was getting blown all over the highway. I left work last week, literally 30 mile an hour gusts, 40 mile an hour gusts. The wind was hitting me from the left and it was knocking the bike all over the place while the rain was dumping. And I gotta tell you, it was, um, still pretty steady i mean it was sticky the bike was having trouble holding its line but that's because it's a light bike but the tires did not slip even with the bike getting knocked around in the wind these tires i gotta tell you they're really quite good i mean the michelin road six yeah they're expensive yes they are they're, they are they are expensive oh there's more lightning great um they are expensive but you know what it's kind of worth it i mean what's your what's your life worth you know if you're going to ride every day, and you're going to ride in the rain... Okay. What am I in a Star Wars episode? Was it the Mandalorian? That thing's talking to me. Now it's beeping. What the heck that thing's about to do, but I think we better get out of here. It's lightninging outside. Listen. If there's rain, and rain is the noun, it is raining. If the noun is lightning, and it's lightning outside, why isn't it lightninging? I'm telling you I'm right about this. It is lightninging outside. It makes so total sense. It makes total sense. See, look, I'm cornering. It's very nice. No slippage. Let's give it the beans. There you go. No slippage, of course this thing does have excellent traction control, but even so, no slippage. It's a good bike overall, but when you pair this bike with these tires, it's a really good combination when you add the traction control and the anti-lock brakes. Well, it's a little wet, but none the worse for wear. My little bluebird.
All right, let's look at this tread patch real quick. Let's look at this. Ignore my license plate. See, it's very, very busy. You know, these grooves are so deep, and they put them in so deep so that as the tire wears down, they all wear down evenly. It's still going to disperse the water even after thousands and thousands and thousands of miles. But you see, it's very busy. And the road fires were like this, too. But this uh, this rubber on the side is is like 30% softer than this rubber. Um, so that you have really good sticky grip on the corners, even in the wet. For the most part, really good tires, man. They remind me of the Road 5s the way they feel, because they're one generation forward from the Road 5s. I think what makes these a little bit different is I think they advanced the tread patch. They advanced some of the grooves down the sides a bit more. So you have some grooves when you're cornering. So these give you a little more water groovage on the side. Uh, and reinforced sidewalls on the front and rear on the Road 6 GT. The regular Road 6, only the rear gets reinforced. The Road 6 GT, the front and the rear both get reinforced. Anyway, that's my review of the Michelin Road 6 GT tires. I highly recommend them. Um, they've been great, even through uh, the cold. You know, I bought this bike in the winter and it's been wonderful. These tires have been fantastic in the cold. They've been fantastic in the wet. Like any tire, let them warm up if it's cold and wet outside. Don't just start doing whatever you want. Anyway, great tires. Obey the rules when you're riding in the rain. You know what to do. Take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Don't do anything stupid. You'll be fine. But these uh, Road 6 tires are great. Get them for your bike. And there is definitely no sun today. But there's plenty of lightning out because it's lightninging outside. Conversely, if the noun was raininging, instead of rain, if we called it raining, it would be raininging. Ning. TG Moto Rider, signing off. I love this bike. I really, really, really love this bike.